honestly, man, like I, I, and I know that's one of the things that we work in the class a lot, like being yourself, you yeah, being you, yeah, while you know playing the objective and everything and blah blah blah, you know, like and intentions and everything, but. I just I still sometimes like when I get castings of this like I, f I see like okay this is a casting for some stereotypical Russian bandit Ivan. It's very hard for me like when I do the self tape not to get into this mode of like yeah. well they want stereotypical Russian bandit Ivan I'll give them stereotypical Russian bandit Ivan and maybe that's why I don't get a lot of roles lately. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think that's true. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> but at the same time, you feel like you want to get into a kind want... of safer option, you know, because like, you might... But why? Why? Why do that? Because there's going to be another however many fucking Russian yeah, actors there are know, in London and the rest of the world. They're all going to pick it up and they're going to do that as well. Hmm. So then the casting director just sees fucking 20 Russian people, or Latvian people, <laughs> or people who are speaking Russian, doing the Russian bad guy thing, and then how do they choose? I'll tell you why, because, well, why sometimes I feel like I, I kind of, I'm doing this, because when I'm watching those TV shows, not all of them, but a lot of them, I see those stereotypical Russian guys. Yeah, 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 yeah. No. <laughs> That's the thing. Yeah. So I see them, I see the people booking the roles with doing this, and I'm like, hey, maybe I should do this, I don't know. Yeah, well, maybe when they booked the role, they didn't. They didn't do it like that. Maybe, that, maybe that's just how it was directed once they were on set. Like the audition process and the sex and the set process are two different. It's two different things. Well, I didn't think about that. You didn't think about <laughs> <No>. that. <laughs> this is why you need to be in class, mate. I know. Um, yeah, I miss being in class. Mate. Yeah. No, I think you know. It's it's how how do you stand out? It's always about how do you stand out without without being contrived as well. Like you know, people. I think. People, People think about being bold, and then they just get ridiculous, and they just do they just do stuff that's just way out there and too much, and then it becomes distracting. But it's like mm -hmm. if you really think about it from I always try and think about it from the casting director's point of view. Like casting directors, they're fucking looking at actors all the time. They're looking at briefs all the time. They're looking at little fucking pictures of people's faces, and they're looking at show reels, and they're looking at self tapes. Like they're just. Like I spend a lot of time looking at actors and I don't look at actors anywhere near as much as casting directors yeah. do. So it's like, just how can you bring that one thing that just gives a little bit of something, like a little spark, a line that's just got a bit of a different spin on it, slightly different interpretation to the obvious read on the text. And like that might not be the read in the show and that might not be the right read but at least it's gonna capture the attention of the casting director or the director or the producer and be like, oh, well, that was nice. Out of the 30 people that we saw, the 30 brown haired fucking Russian people with beards that we saw, he was the guy that just did something a little bit different. And then, all right, cool, let's get him in for a recall. Or cool, let's get him, let's get him penciled for this job. Mm -hmm. And I think that, that's, that's just what it's gotta be.